Copyright is property. Uh, it is enforced by the right holder according to his or her will. So the right holder decides on whether to grant a license or whether to enforce or not to enforce. Uh, on the other hand, the AI Act is not based on the logic of a right, but the AI Act establishes obligations. Obligations uh, in order to protect public interests, yeah? to support trustworthy artificial intelligence, to have a safe AI environment in the European Union. And that is um, a way of regulation that German lawyers would call public law approach to artificial um, intelligence. And that results in quite some legal uh, challenges, I would say, for the future. So uh, if you think about uh, the infringement or violation of either copyright or the AI uh, Act, uh, these questions have to be answered uh, on very uh, different terms. Any copyright infringement triggers remedies, yeah? even if it's only one single copy which was not authorized, you have a remedy, you can ask for an injunction and damages. In the AI Act context, it's very different uh, because uh, the AI Act establishes systemic compliance obligations with regard to copyright. For example, AI model providers have to put in place a copyright policy, a general copyright policy. And whether that copyright policy is sufficient or not is then a question which is pretty difficult to answer and not straightforward, like in the case of copyright, where every infringement, as I said, triggers a remedy. So uh, when we merge copyright with the AI regulation, and by the way, this is also true for the Digital Services Act, you have to approach the question in a different manner. Namely, you have to ask, at what point is a systemic compliance obligation uh, violated? And only then uh, do you have a violation of, of this AI regulation. Uh, and also the enforcement of copyright on the one hand and the AI Act on the other uh, differ very much. Um, copyright is enforced by the right holder before the civil courts regularly. Every infringement can be enforced, uh, whereas the AI Act is primarily enforced by public authorities, by the Commission, when it comes to AI models um, uh, or uh, national uh, authorities. And that might become a challenge for right holders because they were used to enforce their rights at their will, but now they have to make sure that the Commission acts uh, if they find an AI model to be problematic or national authorities when it comes to AI systems insofar as uh, copyright obligations exist. So that's a whole new, I would say, set up of enforcement challenges. Right holders have to become part of the AI governance network and make sure that they are at the table of the commission and um, make sure that the commission acts against uh, certain uh, copyright problems in the area of AI. Uh, so uh, I would say for the first time, really public authorities enter the copyright environment uh, to a very significant extent through the AI Act.